What's going on everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer and welcome back to a brand new episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. In the last episode we kind of started our adventure and um, you know found out we're Pikachu and you know we uh, we became friends with Steven and all that good stuff. Uh, we also stopped coughing in Zubat from um, from taking uh, Steven's Relic Fragment. So in this episode, we're I think we're gonna head off to the ex the Explorers Guild. So let's let's get in. Let's let's get into it. Chapter two: The New Recruits. Oh boy. And here we go. Uh, <laughs> this is Wigglytuff's guild. To form an exploration team, you need to register your team here. Then you have to train until you become a first-rate exploration team. <laughs> Yikes. Isn't there something just a little odd about this place? No. I've got Chris with me this time. I have to be brave. Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Riolu's. The footprint's Riolu's. Where? I, wait, I remember in the last episode I said I wasn't going to do that. No, I have to stay strong. You may enter. Someone's with you. So get that stranger to stand up there. They probably met you, Chris. It said to stand up here. There's a grate covering the hole. It's made so that no one can fall through. Still, it's really strange. It looks like it'll tickle my feet or... Hey, you stranger, get on the grate! Pokemon detected. Okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna do this bit again. Footprint is, um... What's the matter? Sentry! Sentry! What's wrong, Sentry Diglett? I'm not even checking the audio levels on that, so I might be yelling into the mic. Um, uh... um the footprint is maybe Pikachu's? <laughs> what? Maybe. But it's not a footprint that you normally see around here. Oh, that's pretty crummy. Checking the footprints of visiting Pokemon. That's your job, isn't it, Diglett? Oh my god, I'm really yelling. Yes, but I don't know what I don't know. What? Are they arguing? Sorry to make you wait. Well, it's true that you don't see any Pokemon in these parts, but you don't seem to be mad. Bad. Okay, good enough. Enter. Enter. I'm so nervous, so jittery. But I'm glad we're finally allowed in. My heart's pounding, though. Okay, let's go in. Woo. The, there's a hatch that leads underground here. Let's go down. Wow! So this is Wiggly Tough's guild. I'm just gonna turn the... Um... No, I think this is fine. So many Pokemon! I wonder if they're all exploration teams. Excuse me. Oh, chat hot. Um. It was you two that just came in, right? Y yes. I'm chat hot. I'm the Pokemon in the know around these parts. I am the Gilbass's Wiggly Tuff's right hand Pokemon. Now, shoo! Leave the premises! We have no time for salespeople or silly surveys. Off you go, if you please. No, that's not why we're here. We want to form an exploration team. That's why we came. We want to be trained as an exploration team. What? what? Exploration team? It's rare to see a kid like this want to apprentice at the guild, especially how hard our training is. Surely the same stream of Pokemon that run away from our rigorous training proves how tr true that is. Uh, excuse me? Is the exploration team training that severe? What? Whoa, no, 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 no. 
It's not true with the slightest. Our training program is for exploration teams as easy as can be. Well, well, well. I I wish you had told me that up. Told me up front that you wanted to be an exploration team. Hee <laughs> hee. His attitude suddenly changed, didn't it? Okay, let's get your team acquainted. I missed that last part by accident. Oh, anything wrong? Come on, over here. Quickly, please. And we're going down further. This is the guild's second underground floor. This is mainly where the apprentices work. Team registration is this way. Come along, please. Wow, there's two floors under the ground, but you can see outside. Oh, please hush now. The guild's built on the side of a cliff. It's only natural you'll be able to see the outside. Oh. No. Here we are at Guildmaster Wigglytuff's chamber. On no account, I repeat, on no account should you be able to discourteous to our Guildmaster. Guildmaster! It's Shatot! I'm coming in! Guildmaster, I present to you two Pokemon that wish to join our guild as apprentices. Guildmaster? I'm um, Guildmaster? Oh my god. Um... I could do a complete roundabout way and just give him like a completely deep voice. Hiya! Actually, that can work. Hiya! I'm Wigglytuff. I'm the guild's guild master. <laughs> you want to form an exploration team? Then let's go for it. First, we must register exploration team's name. So what shall it be? Oh, our team's name? We didn't think of that. What do you think it should be a good name for us, Chris? Um... Definitely not Pokepels. That one's just dumb. Um, hmm. I can go Team Conquest. <laughs> Let's do it. Team Conquest. Conquest. Um, do I want to do Team Conquest? Sure. Conquest! Oh, whoops. Team Conquest. Yeah, that's a good name. It suits us. <laughs> sure it does. Sure it does, Steven. Sure it does. I'll settle then. I'll register your team as Conquest. Registering, registering. All registered. You da. Congratulations. From now on, you're an official exploration team. I present to you with this commemoration. Team Exploration Team Kit. A Pokemon Exploration Team Kit? Yup, it's what every exploration, exploration team needs. Quick, open it up. Steven opened up the box. There was an exploration badge inside, a wonder map, and a treasure bag. Yeah, there are all sorts of great items in here. That's your explore, Explorer Badge. It's your team's official identification. And there's a wonder map, which is a wonder of convenience. Finally, there's a treasure bag. It lets you carry items you find in dungeons. Your successes as an exploration team can lead to bigger and bigger space for your treasure bag. It's a very wonderful bag. Have a peek inside your treasure bag. Uh, zinc band, sky blue bow. Okay. Those two items are special. I'm sure they will help you on your adventures. The thank you. We'll do our best. Yup. Now you're only apprenticing right now, so do your best to train. We will. Let's always do our best, Chris. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just work. Great, we got beds. You will live here. Oh, whoops, wrong voice. You will live here on t while you work for us. Things will start getting busy for you tomorrow. So rise early and start living up to our code. Don't stay up late, get to, get to sleep early tonight. That is all. Oh man, <laughs> these voices might actually kill me. <laughs> <coughs> all right. Oh, are you still awake, Chris? My heart's been racing all day over every little thing, but I'm glad I finally made myself come here. I thought Wigglytuff would be scary, but he seems pretty friendly. We're going to experience all sorts of things starting tomorrow, but I'm not very scared. In fact, in the it's the other way around. I'm super excited about the adventures we'll face. I'm feeling a little sleepy. Let's give it our all tomorrow. Okay, good night. 
um, now I'm suddenly presencing at the guild. I gotta admit, I'm pretty excited to be. It's pretty exciting to be on exploration team, and it's fun to be friends with Steven. But first things first, who am I? How did I turn into a Pokemon? How did I end up unconscious on that bed on that beach? I'm feeling sleepy too. Well, thinking about it won't help right now. I better focus on the guild's work for now. If I do that, well, everything should become clear eventually. I'm sure I'll get to the bottom of this in time. And done. All right. Wait, is that seriously it? Um. Okay. I didn't think it was just going to be that, but... Expiration team, quick tip. You can save a record of your progress by climbing into your bed from now on. So whenever you want to save your progress, just climb into the bed. Good to know. The next morning... Oh, God. Hey! Hey there! Rise and shine! Oh, God. Ugh. My head is pounding. What a ridiculously loud voice and almost blasted my eardrums. Why are you still asleep? Wake up! Ugh. Oh, my poor ears. Come on, step out of it. I'm Loudred, and I'm a fellow apprentice. If you're late for our morning briefing, you'll be sorry, so move it. Killmaster really tough has got a big temper. If you make him lose it, yowie, that would make one very scary scene. I got goosebumps just thinking about it, yeesh. So anyway, thought about to get in trouble because you rookies got up late. So get in the gear. <laughs> I think that works out great for Loudred. Eric, my ears are still ringing. Why did he say something about getting ready? Er, oh yeah, we signed up as apprentices last night. But that means we're totally overslept. We gotta hurry. Oh, this is gonna do wonders for my throat. Holy shit. Late like rookies. Hot. Mm. Hush. The voice was ridiculously loud. Hmm. Everyone seems to be present. Very well. Let us conduct a morning address. Kill Master. The guild is in full attendance. All right. Here we go. Thank you, Guild Master. Please address the crew. Nope. Not doing it. Master Wigglytuff never ceases to amaze me. Yeah, you got that right. Look, his eyes are wide awake. His eyes are up. Whoops. His eyes are wide open, but he's fast asleep. Thank you, sir. We all value your words of wisdom. Okay, Pokemon. Take our Guild Master's words of wisdom to heart. Finally, let's not forget our morning cheers. All together now. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Not... Don't shirk work. <laughs> Two, run, a run away and pay. Smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, get to work. Hooray! I think. I think so. <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay. Hey, shouldn't you just be wandering around there? You two come here. Alright. I guess we'll do some more tutorial stuff, I guess. Alright. That's fine. We'll just begin it, but I have to start you off with this assignment. This is a job bulletin board. Pokemon from various regions post job requests here. You're aware that bow Pokemon are bug Pokemon are cropping up in greater numbers, right? Yep, because the flow of time is getting messed up. It's wreaking havoc, right? Which is why loads of bad Pokemon are appearing. Flow of time is getting messed up? Time as in hours and minutes? Do they mean something has gone wrong with the time here? And because of that, more and more bad Pokemon are popping up? What's going on? Precisely. Time getting out of whack has caused an outbreak of bad Pokemon. Perhaps because of all that, we have noticed an increase in the number of jobs. In addition, it, it is unknown if this is because of time's influence. There has also been a mass outbreak of... Mystery Dungeons. Mystery Dungeons. So, Chris... You know how we got my Relic Fragment back yesterday? The place where we found it was a Mystery Dungeon. A Mystery Dungeon changes each time you go into it. There's a different layout and different items every time you enter. If you faint in the middle of a dungeon, you lose half your money. And you, you can even lose half your items or more. Finally, you get kicked right out. That's, they're very strange places. But every time you go inside one, there's always new things to discover. They're really fantastic places to go, places to go exploring. Well, you're quite informed, aren't you? That makes things much easier for me to explain. 
jobs and jobs all take place in mystery dungeons. So, let's look for a job that you should perform. Ah, yes. Maybe this will do. Oh, really? Let's read it. Hello. Okay. Hello, my name is Spoink, and Outlaw has run off of my most prized possession, my precious pearl. That pearl is life itself to me. I just can't seem to settle down if that pearl isn't in its proper place atop my head. But I've heard my pearl has been sighted. Uh, it's said to be on a rocky bluff. It's been, it, but this bluff is reported to be extremely unsafe. I could never go anywhere. It's so frightening. Oh, friendly readers, would you please, would you be so kind as to go to the bluff and get my pearl? I beg your help, exploration team members from Spoink. Wait a second. We're gonna fetch an item that's. We're gonna fetch an item that someone dropped. I'd rather do something that's more of an adventure. I'd rather look for treasure or explore unknown places, things like that. Hush. Yikes. It's important that you rookies pay your dues. Now pay attention. I'll repeat the warnings again to make sure they stick. You'll be forced out of a dungeon and step out here if either of you faint. You'll lose half your money, and you could lose half your items or more. You'd best be careful. If you've understood all that, I suggest you get with the job. Whew. This must be the bluff's entrance. Spoink's mission description says it says down on the basement 7 level. Sounds like a dangerous, silly, seriously dangerous place. Let's be careful. Let's do our best. Okay. Drench bluff, first floor. Your partner can now hold one item each. Now that you have the treasure bag, you can also keep 16 items in your inventory. Some items like bows only work if held by Pokemon, so if you use the give option found under the item section of the menu to hand it over. Alright, let's do just that. Uh, aura energy. I feel like that should be best to Steven. And special defense, I guess we'll give that to me, I guess. And I know what Blast Seeds do. Alright. Hello, Cradley. Oh, level 7. Awesome! And so did Steven. Wicked. Three, two, 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 and two. Alright. Ah, uh, Shellos, why? Come on. There we go. Max Elixir. Yes, I know. I know what Elixir does. Thanks, game, for telling me. Um. Actually, I'm gonna turn this down again because I think that might be a bit too high. I think that should be fine. Maybe. Alright. Oop. There we go. Oop. There we go. Money! Give me that money. Alright. And down we go. Oh, crazy. Alright. Die, crazy. What's over here? Nothing. Alright, I guess we'll head for the stairs. Second floor. Eat an apple or a gummy if you get hungry. If you get too hungry, you'll risk you'll risk fainting before long, so keep an eye on your belly in the menu. Fair enough. And crazy down. All right. Ooh. Found the stun seed. Uh. It will stun you. Heal seed. Heals all the status problems. Cool. Ugh. Obviously, I can't use Thunder Shock here. Uh, throw set ammo. Right, I don't have anything to throw yet. Cradley! Okay. Another heal seed. How's our belly doing? 82. We're doing good. 
Ooh, Anorith. Dead. Alright. So we found the stairs. Let's go for that. Third floor. Team members will earn experience points when they defeat an enemy and they level up when they earn enough of them. Pokemon will gain more XP, raise SAS, blah 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 blah. Oh. Alright. Okay, I guess I guess Steven's gonna go after Riolu then. Come on. Can you just die already, please? There we go. Apple. Brown button. Again, Ron button. It's, it's L A. Jeez. And I know Apple fills belly. Uh, Seventy-two. Not bad. How's our belly doing? In right? eighty-one. Okay, we're not doing too bad. You shells can... Uh, sure. Let's check out this last room. Okay. Oops. Oh, wait. Okay. That's fine. Fourth floor. To earn bonus experience points, must use the move at least once while attacking, rather than just A. Hold... Yes. Hold L and press A. I know. Uh... Oh. Thanks, computer, for telling me that I have an update that you need to install. <laughs> and completely blocked my screen. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what's up here? Ooh. Alright. I'm just going to take the stairs. I'm not going to bother go through the rest of this. If a Poma's HP gets low, it puts itself at risk of um, uh, further enemy attack. When this happens, just run away. Uh, Alright. Let's... down uh oh oh no not mud slap whatever shall i do i don't know probably kill it money orenberry orenberry wait if you look closer look like item you should always check to see if you got the right item and sneaky look alikes really um throw <laughs> Oh, you're going to force me to pick it up anyway. <sighs> Any chance there's a pad here? Okay, Geo Pebbles I can throw for set them as your ammo. Da -da -da. Let's do that actually. Which is L and R. Petcha heals poisoned. Alright. Can you just die, please? Thank you. Ooh! I'm level 8. Awesome. And so did Steven. Cool, 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 cool. that tile. Now I'm back. <sighs> Can you just die, please? Thank you. Alright, let's head the stairs. One more floor. Help your partners. Oh, yeah. Use the switch option if you want your partner to do certain things. 
uh, let's use it. There we go. Wow, that was quick. Okay. I'll take it. Drench Bluff, floor 7. Oh, look at that! This must be Spoink's Pearl. Let's, hear, let's hurry back with it. There's this thing on my chair, and it digs right into my arm. The pearl must be must be propped on my head, you see, and this is so much I couldn't settle down with it without it up there. That's why I'm covered in dings and bumps. But thanks to you, that long nightmare is over. Yeah, my sincere thanks. Got a protein, calcium, an iron. 2,000 Poké Dadas. All this money for us? Of course, of course. That's nothing compared to my Pearl's value. Farewell. Well, if you look at his Pokédex entry, it's more, more valuable than you think. We're rich, Chris. We got rich just like that. Well, well done, team. Now hand that money over, if you please. Most of the money from jobs goes to the Guild Master, you see. And your team's share of the money comes out to this much. Only 200. So basically, we only get 10, what was it, 10% of what we actually get. Fun. That's awful. Well, that's the girl's rule. You simply have to accept it. Hmm. Oh. Oh, chime echo. Everyone, thanks for waiting. I finished making dinner. Come on, dinner's on. All right. So apparently, Chingling's the uh, the chef, and everyone's <laughs> slurping down, munching. So if no, I'm getting sleepy. Off to bed. Good night. Night. Okay. It is now night. Listen, Chris, wasn't today hectic? So much happened, but I'm relieved that our first job was a su success. It was really upsetting how Wigglytuff, how Wigglytuff's guild took most of the money, though. And that's just, and that's, ju that's just the cost of training, I guess. We can't do anything about it. But what made me really happy today, though, was getting thanked by Spoink. Ooh, I'm getting sleepy. I'm going to sleep. Let's try our best again tomorrow. Good night. And both of us go to sleep. Just like that. Oh. Um. Okay. I was hoping I was going to save there. Open, Adam. It's morning. Alright. I want to save. This is also chapter 3, uh, the screen. Good morning. I want to save. Would you like to save your adventure? Here we go. Alright. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. So, in this episode, we uh, basically did another tutorial level for basically the... Oh my god. Basically how the jobs work and different items and everything. So, in the next episode, we're going to uh, continue chapter... We're going to do chapter 3, I'm hoping. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up like you never clicked it before. And if you guys are excited for the uh, for the series, be sure to uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel because your support is greatly appreciated. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, so I'm gonna get out of here. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer, and I will see you in the next video.